All right, so anyway, I just downloaded uh, iOS uh, 15, the new operating system, and they made some changes to the weather app, and I'm going to show you. Pop it up. So anyway, we're in Delray Beach. It's 88 degrees, mostly cloudy. The high is going to be 91. The low is going to be 73. And then as you slide down, you're going to see there's going to be thunderstorms. And it kind of gives you the time and when you're going to start to see at 4 p.m. We're going to get lightning and rain, possibly. And as you can see, the temperature is supposed to drop going into that. And then it gives a 10-day forecast. It's got today. It's got Friday. shows you the differentiation between the highs and lows of the weather. If there's going to be thunderstorms, you can see that. It's going to be sunny. Looks like next week it's going to look nice. And the temperature is going to drop down to 72 on Monday. That would be nice. And then it shows you the air quality, which is kind of cool. And it says air quality is 44, which is the same as yesterday, at about the same time. Now, if you want to see more, you can click here, and it brings up this page. And it gives you even more information about pollutants and general health and uh, other information. It says it's good. Today is good. So if you want to get out of that and go back, you just click here. It brings us back here to air quality. And here's our temperature map. Check this out. So you can see that where we're at, it's hot. 88 degrees. But if you want to see even more, you can click here and it gives you a, a, the scale. You can see the hot is the red and it goes to yellow up here. And this is where we're at. It's 88 degrees and it's hot everywhere. <laughs> That's why the hurricanes are so bad. And now if you want to get out of there, all you got to do is come up and hit done. Brings us right back here. Then you go down, you got the UV index and it's very high today. We're in Florida, so you can get a sunburn if you go outside. Sun sets at 7.15 tonight. The sun rises at 7 a.m. tomorrow, or 7.09. And then it gives you the wind direction, and it's telling you that it's coming out of the southeast at about 7 knots. And it says today we may get about ah, 0.15 inches of rain. They expect 0.3. And it feels like it's 99. The humidity is at 66, and the dew point is 75%. And if you're a pilot and you're flying, you got 10 miles of visibility and the pressure is at 29.89. I don't know if that's important or not, but hot, this is low and this is high. It's kind of in the middle. And we're on the regular page. I'm in New York City. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the very bottom of the right-hand corner. I'm going to click this. It gives me all my different locations. You see this? Now, if I want to edit these, what I would do is I would come up here to these three little dots. I'd click on it and it's going to give me edit list. And if I click that, now if I want it to get rid of one, let's say I wanted to get rid of Dallas-Fort Worth, I could just click that, and then I could hit this, and it's in trash. It's gone. And then if I'm done, I just come up here, hit done. But let's say I want to add a city. So let's go ahead and let's put in the search bar here the name of the city. I'm going to do Detroit, All right, United States, bam. Pulls up Detroit, and at the very top it says add. I'm going to hit add, bam. And now Detroit is in here. It should be the last one. And there it is. That's how you add or subtract a location in your weather app. And then if you want to look at Detroit, bam, there you go. I'll show you how to move from a location in your weather or precipitation map on your iPhone weather app. First of all, of course, we've opened it up. We're in Atlanta. We could go anywhere. Let's go Paris since we're here. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit this. It's going to bring up my map of Paris. And there, there I am. I'm in uh, Paris. And now in Paris, I can do a lot of different things. I can come up here. I can look at the precipitation, right? And I can see what the 12-hour forecast is. I can go over here. I can see if it's extreme heavy, moderate, or light, right? I can go to air quality. And then it's going to tell me if I've got extremely poor, very poor, poor, and determine moderate or good. It looks like it's moderate. And then I could go uh, to um, temperature, which is the thing that it brings you to to begin with. But let's say you just want to get back to where you're at, your location. What you do is you come up here, you see that little arrow, you hit it, and bam, Bob's your uncle. There we are in Florida again. If you're done with that, you just hit this, and as you can see, it pops it back to the original spot. I'll show you a really cool thing in the weather app. All right, let's say you're in Paris and you're checking everything out. You're seeing what the precipitation is, and, and you're, you know, you're just having fun. You're looking at stuff. You go to your map. You're looking at... Uh, you know, if it's going to rain or not, you come in here, you check this, you hit that, you see if you got some rain coming. You know, you can check the air quality, the temperature, all that stuff. But let's just go ahead and let's go like this. I'm going to show you, let's say you're there and now you're like, damn it, I want to see where uh, the Louvre is. Well, you can come down here to the bottom and it says open in maps. If you click that, it just brings you right to your maps. Bam. And there you are. There's your map of Paris. And then you can get directions. You can do a flyover. You can do all kinds of different things. There we go. Look, now we're in Paris and we can see what's going on just by moving our phone around. And we can find different places.
and that's the river right there. That's the, you can see the name, say, the scene, scene. <laughs> I'm gonna show you two ways to get to your temperature map in your weather app on your iPhone. One way, of course, is just to find the map on the page. So I'm on Paris, right? So if I slide down, there it is, I can just tap it, and bam, we're right in the temperature. You can see it right there, it tells the temperature. It shows you the temperature here, and that's that. Now, if we're done with that, we go like that. Now, another way you can go to it is all you do is you just come down to this icon down here and click it, and bam, it takes you to the same page. And that's how you get to your temperature map on your iPhone weather app. I'll show you how to change your temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius or from Celsius to Fahrenheit. First, we're going to go down here. We're going to click these little things on the right-hand corner. Bam, it's going to give us this. Then we're going to go up here and click this. And then we're just going to go in here. We're going to go Celsius. Bam, there's Celsius. If you don't like Celsius, you could go to Fahrenheit. Bam, there's Fahrenheit. And that's how you do it. All right, I'm going to show you how to find your locations on your weather map. Now, I'm assuming that you've already put a bunch of locations in, and you usually kind of move it like this to find them. But there's another way you can do it. All you have to do is come down here, click this little icon. This comes up. And then if you go over here, you're going to see these uh, three lines with dots in front of them. Click that. It gives you a drop down. Now you can go to any location. We could go to New York. Right? Bam. There we are. We're in New York. Or we could come back. We could go to St. Augustine. Bam. There we are. Or we could come back. And we could go to Rome. All the way across the pond. Bam. Look at that. So that's how that works. And um, if you're done and you want to just go back to your regular page, you click there and we're right back to our normal page that you guys are used to. And then, of course, you could always go like this. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you how to do stuff with your iPhone. Peace out.